Okay, so I'm here with the guy and you know, he doesn't want to pay the, the toll road, so we're gonna scotch, you know, we're gonna glue behind the bus. So let's hope they don't see us. Um, hope there's no co no cops. I just did it before as well. Fantastic! Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we pass. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. We made it. There are the cops there. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> so it's an Arab guy. Very nice guy. Well, I'm a place called Ettelbrück. Brück, it means it's from German Brücke, the bridge. It's almost the same. And Ettel is from Attila the Hun. The Huns, apparently, they were all the way here in Luxembourg. And you see now there are other invaders, you know, it's yeah, Portuguese. Um, so 50% of, more than 50% of the Luxembourgians, well, they're not Luxembourgians anymore, but for the Duke, the aristocracy who are still in power, they don't mind, you know, they rule it. The people have nothing to say, as I told you before. They have absolutely nothing to say. The Duke, you know, he just decides, eh? Where slaves, you know, it's just... It's a slave trade, really. It's a bloody slave trade. So... They're trading slaves. My slaves work for me. Oh, I've got no, I don't have enough slaves of the Luxembourgians. So, oh, okay, I import because the women don't want to make any more babies. Okay, I'll import them from Portugal. Okay, well, go on the phone and talk with the Duke and the aristocracy in Portugal or the Templars in Portugal. Okay, can you send me a couple of million slaves, you know? I've got some factories running and, you know, tax evasion going in Luxembourg. And this, this is how it goes, you know? Hello, slave. So here I'm sitting with a, I just met a Belgian traveler. He went, he was all over the US. He invited me for a, a couple of nice beers. And look at it. It said Omer with the, the V of the Templars. And Godefroy de Saint-Omer, he was one of the, one of the initial nine Templars. So these blokes, they know, excuse me. They know exactly what they're talking about. They're initiated. There's no doubt at all. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, I'm Jules and I'm gonna have to learn you how to open a beer with uh, teeth. Oh, don't, don't, be, don't be shocked, people. Oh, bloody hell, eh? Cheers. <laughs> well, this is Belgians, eh? Wow, man. I, I wouldn't... I, I use this thing here. <laughs> so you were in Canada, in America? And in uh, South America, uh, in Southeast Asia. <clears throat> And Canada and uh, USA? Canada. Yeah, uh, I mean like um, Montreal to Vancouver by hitchhiking, oh. then uh, <laughs> Vancouver to uh, LA uh, by hitchhiking, then I went all by hitchhiking to Mexico, uh, Peru, then I came back to Belgium and I made like France, uh, Germany, uh, Austria by hitchhiking, then I went by plane to Asia and I made uh, Thailand, uh, Cambodia, Laos and um, Vietnam by hitchhiking too. Fantastic, mate. Yeah. Respect, eh? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> well, I'm here in a big hole. All well, the truck drivers, you know, they got all their, their things, you know, for the supermarkets, you know, what is this, uh, freeway. Uh, where Pharaoh is distributing so he, he said I can take a shower here for the truck drivers well it's really big eh? this is where Pharaoh you know where all the things is going to the you know yeah so let's do it again Pharaoh me so I'm in here for this thing for the truck drivers I'm gonna take a shower here look at that. all the truck drivers here eh? Wow, great. This guy is waiting for me here. There he is. In the pickup. <laughs> I haven't taken this shower in a long time, eh? Nice, nice bloke. Oh, I'm glad the sun is out. I didn't see the sun for two weeks at least. Only raining, windy. Like up there, I was filming the moon last night. 
Canadian mattress. So this is the system I ha I'm having like with the sleeping bags. I have this inner bag here so I can wash it, you know. Because the sleeping bag is not good to wash. It doesn't work anymore. But I had to wash this one last year. You see, because it's got all moisture all over it, like here. It's all over, it's, you know, my legs are scratching. Uh, it's getting worse and worse. It's all rotten inside, because this, this one is down. It's a good combination. This is artificial, this one here. And this is down. But if down, if it gets wet, it doesn't warm anymore. So you need, like, both. Because down is the only one that really warms up. And if you have an artificial one in your backpack and all stuffed together under pressure, it, it won't work anymore after a month in your, you know, in your backpack. With down, it always works. But if it gets wet like this, you know, you get this sort of stuff. And if it's wet, it's all glued together in, and it won't work. And you see it's all wet inside. It won't work anymore. So, but this one was damn expensive, it was 400 euros, and, well, this one is over, you know. I can't get away. I washed it once, and you should never wash a, a, a sleeping bag, neither artificial nor down. Uh, before, it was really nice. It blew itself up like this, you know, almost like an uh, inflatable mattress, you know. But since I washed it, and I had to wash it because I already had this last year. Um, it doesn't work anymore. It's not the same anymore. Horrible. I hope it's not the N1H1 from China. Eh? But, um, no. Chinese probably didn't wash it properly. You know, pro uh, properly. The, um, the down feathers inside. Well, it's typical. All this stuff coming from China. Mattresses that all don't work. All that, you know. So I stayed in my tent last, yesterday, the whole day. Because of this moisture on my sleeping bag, you know, my, my legs are itchy. I have to, to scratch my legs the whole time. Last year it was even all green and all that. All sort of microbes. I've got a headache also because of it. Getting into my system.